Hello team, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on Agile Sales Foundation Certification. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and you are watching the Agile Tester Extension Certification Tutorials. So we are looking at the next topic of the chapter one that is uh, we are still in the 1.1 that is the first topic of the chapter one but we have the second subtopic to be considered in this tutorial that is whole team approach. In this tutorial we'll be understanding about what makes the whole team approach more successful when using as agile part of it? When you talk about generally the whole team approach, here we have overcome a lot of barrier differentiating between the traditional approaches. If we talk about that, we generally had the two different teams where one was responsible for creating something and the other team being called as testing team was responsible for finding the defects where we had a lot of conflicts, a lot of issues, where people were assuming that or we generally used to have conflicts between the team members uh, looking forward from the psychological aspects of the testers and the developers. But in Agile, we have overcome this barrier by creating a whole team approach. Here we say that generally the whole team approach is having a people with a certain skill set and certain psychology where we say that people are not treated as developers or testers. Generally in Agile, we do not determine the role of the team members as either developer or tester. We just call it them, call them as a development team altogether, where all the members are a part of the development team. But certainly, we do have the roles of developers and testers internally, where some of them are responsible for creating it and some of them are responsible for testing it. But we do not have two different stakeholders teams, unlike your traditional approaches where this team includes people with a heavy skill set, where people already know what the technology is all about. They are self-motivated, oriented towards the work process. They know what to do next and they know what their responsibilities are. So generally, we do not have someone to instruct them and direct them. And this makes them more uh, mature enough to deal internally within the team members. Uh, generally, when you talk about the whole team approach, we also include the customer uh, representative as a part of the team for consistent feedback and letting them know with any kind of corrections to be done or any changes which are required to be done to their set of requirements. So generally having a consistent feedback during the ongoing event of development would help us to minimize a lot of defect at an early stage, which would make your development as well as testing more productive. Of course, we coming to the team size, we generally talk about as much as low as three members can comprise a development team in Agile or even maximum of up to nine people or maybe nine to ten people can be recommended as a part of the development team in Agile. But we do not recommend more. So we generally talk about having small and effective teams for creating the work. The general development team should be co-located. Generally, we say that they cannot be geographically distributed, where you say that some of the development team members are in one particular location and the other few members are in a different location. That is not recommended as per ISTQB or Agile development methodology. So they are co-located under one roof in one particular room within one premises. The whole team approach is also supported by something called as stand-up meetings, which are some quick uh, recap sessions, or you can call it as a quick review meetings uh, held on daily basis, which we call it as stand-up meetings, where generally stand-up meetings are addressed by the Scrum Master, uh, who will be uh, generally asking three questions to the entire development team every day. That is, what is that you have done so far? What is that you're expected to do next? And is there any kind of challenges which you can uh, let me know so that I can help you. So this is where they will be assisted, not directed, but assisted by the Scrum Master by helping them to understand with help of stand-up meetings. And also, of course, when you talk about like, you know, having good communication between the team members, uh, the team members, of course, that builds more high effective uh, efficiency on the product, as well as at the same time, you try to reduce a lot of time in terms of uh, the productivity of the process. And we have, of course, a very good and better outcome. Now we talk about some of the standard benefits of having the whole team pro. Like, what is the benefit of doing this? Is there anything specific about it? Like, of course, by now you would be already knowing that if we could have done these things in traditional approaches, we could have overcome a lot of barrier. But of course, Agile has implemented it, and that's the reason it is called as a fast track development process. But still, we have something listed here called as the benefits of the whole team approach. That is enhancing communication and collaboration within the team 
enabling the various skill set within the team to be leveraged to the benefits of the project. Of course, their skill set will directly be proportional to the outcome of the project. And making quality everyone's responsibility is very important benefit of this. Because earlier, if you remember, uh, developers were not much involved uh, with the testing process or finding defects, so they were not having uh, you know, a primary skill set or responsibility of determining the quality in the product. But when you talk about uh, the testing team, we're only responsible for that. But now in Agile, we say that it is everyone's equal responsibility to determine the quality. One last thing is talking about the entire whole team approach, uh, more details in the responsibility point of view. Whole team is responsible for quality in the Agile projects. Of course, the essence of whole team approach lies in the testers, developers, and business representatives working together. So here, we do not talk about any such thing that you are separate stakeholders. No, we do not have such things here. We say that everyone is one team and working together for one common reason, that is to make a successful project and of course, have a better co you know, coordination between the team members. Tester will of course be working closely with the developers and business representative as being a part of the same team that builds more better communication and cohesion between the team. It includes supporting and collaborating with the business representative to help them create suitable acceptance test because by having a good understanding of the requirement, at the same time, the business representatives can also create good acceptance test which will allow them to create enough uh, you know, very strong strategies, test cases, or maybe automation tests, which would reduce a lot of time. Because once you're clear with the acceptance criteria, you know that what you're looking for. And then it generally reduces a lot of time by having a failures during the acceptance test, which could lead into a lot of problems. Testers can thus transfer and extend testing knowledge to other team members as well and influence the development of the product. So now it's not just one person's responsibility about the quality of the product, then they can also transform certain knowledge to the developers as well as the business representatives to make them understand that what is validation and how the test cases can be created effectively. So we are just not doing the knowledge transfer here. We are also making understand that what exactly is quality all about, which just does not become the responsibility of testers. It is everyone's responsibility to determine quality in the product. So that's all from this tutorial team. This is the second subtopic of the chapter one and topic one will be coming with the third topic of this uh, main topic. So of course, uh, you can stay tuned for that till then keep learning, keep exploring and understanding the context for any doubts, please comment below. I'll be there to assist you. Beyond this, we'll be coming back with the next tutorial very soon. Till then, take care, keep learning, keep exploring and thanks for watching team. Happy learning.